Crusaders into the woods to soil on the treehouse! Clubhouse! That obviously needs more paint work than it uh, looks already, but whatever! Whatever kids like in this generation, you just, you know, just make it as rain! Well said there, Shaggy Cube! But if you kids dare bring anything mouse related that's called Mickey into this year clubhouse, there will be dire consequences! You hear kids have fun. Here, have some coupons there. Go, go get yourself some treats or something. And because they are the Cutie Mark Crusaders, we get a two to three minute monologue with them trying to discover their hidden talents. And just like in Call of the Cutie, they fail miserably. The only difference? We get free for the price of one, Grandma. I know this is meant to be cute and stuff, but really? This whole time I'm watching this whole scene right here, I'm just repeating these words right here. Kiss. Kiss, 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 Oh, thank God there's blood. Their teacher, Miss Shirley, I think that's how you pronounce her name, proposes that the girls show their amazing talents in a talent show that's gonna be out for all of Ponyville to see. They, of course, see it as an opportunity to earn their cutie marks. Wow, what, what, what a shock. Oh, but my little ponies, think about it. Oh, oh, God, oh, no, stop it. Oh, 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 Really guys, you, you have to go there! Oh, oh, the, 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 the joke was so painful! Ah, ah, ah. Disagreements! So, from what we see from the episode so far, we find out that Sweetie Belle has an amazing talent for songwriting and even singing. Scootaloo can make some awesome movie moves, you know, with her cinematography skills, and even Apple Bloom can make some neat costumes for them to use. Surely they can't lose. Unless they reverse the responsibilities for whatever reasons relating to selfishness and do anything that could be wrong related to all these kinds of fear to everywhere. I don't see what could possibly go wrong with that. What has become of our world when a travesty like this happens? Do we move on? Or do we look back forever and thus? I don't know for sure, but for now, one thing is certain. I feel betrayed, lied, and all because of one thing. And that thing is what I must ask every pony here. Fellow fillies and gentle colts. Why would you ruin this great setup for me? I mean, it has everything I like. The rock references from Journey and Kiss. The fact that the musical number is awesome on its own. The characters are more awesome in their own right now. All that taken away by comments and reviews and memes. It's Dr. Who all over again. I don't think I can carry on. You people have forced me to do something I didn't want to do. And that is something that is on you. And you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, but the, yeah, the rest of the episode, right. <clears throat> the girls are laughed at for being such awesomeness bestowed upon them, as the audience is overlooking them as the lovers of mainstream as they are. But when the awards are giving out at the ending ceremony, it turns out that the cutie Mark Crusaders won the award! For best comedy hat. Hey, I know that makeup is a little overdue, but don't push it! 
So the day is a success, the girls are one again, even though they weren't before, and Twilight makes another cameo to give her take on the episode's events. Oh, my little ponies! I've learned from the free- <laughs> oh, no, 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 stop it, no, no, showstoppers! Yeah, the fur act was the most relevant for me. Like I said, a good chunk of the episode is stuff that's been used before in Call of the Cutie. We're trying to find their cutie marks and failing miserably. The two main differences? These two. But also Clubhouse. Yay for them. Really? I've seen it all before. But the talent show, for me at least, was the best. In terms of the story and their musical number, that is what I got from this episode. And many a hits on YouTube are on their way just for those two minutes of awesomeness. Which would have been more awesome if it wasn't spoiled for me by all you commenters and community- <laughs> So thank you everyone for watching today's installment of Explaining His Magic. I hope you all enjoyed yourselves and do not forget- <sighs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more fun, okay? Stop it. No! Stop! Stop standing! No! No! You know what? No! If you keep staring at me like that, I'm gonna go over the kitchen again and stuff my face! Is that what you want, audience? Is that what you want? You want me to get big and get boobies on my own? Because that's what you're doing! I'm gonna eat all the food in there, and then I'm gonna be overweight in the next few episodes, and... That mean you have to be sorry for me, don't you? But you'll be sorry! You'll be sorry! Hmm, actually, you know what? It's not so bad after the second bite. Mm. Nice, hot, yet exotic at the same time. Hmm. For more details on how you can make your own serving of Sweet Tooth's Hot and Spicy Weenie Rice, you can follow the directions in the description, or better yet, you can always ask me if you want to make an alternative to your dish. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna have to decide which one of these two episodes that have been posted this week I'm gonna find the least relevant. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.